Jake Ludington here at HP Discover in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Jacob Rapp, and I'm told that you're going to tell me what's new with HP Networking. Yeah, definitely. So uh, here at uh, Discover, we just announced our new virtual cloud networking uh, SDN application, which really ties together network virtualization and software-defined networking. And to go along with that, a new set of uh, data center switches, really compact, modular form factor, high density, 40 gig, 100 gig, and a new trusted network transformation service to really de-risk the journey of moving to software-defined networking and cloud. All right, well, let's unpack that a little bit. Why would customers care? So I think if you look at some of the challenges that we've been hearing our customers have over the past couple of years is that networks have been lagging behind server and storage for a while. And servers have been virtualized, storage is being um, software defined, but the network itself is still hugely complex. And there's a lot of manual intervention that still has to happen when you're deploying a network and it becomes uh, that kind of bottleneck in the whole process. So we really kind of feel that without SDN, there really is no cloud environment. So would it be fair to say that SDN is kind of de-risking the human error component of networking? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think any time you take out that human human middleware element, it, you you inherently get a better uh, quality of experience because it's you're not only taking out what you said the de-risking that human kind of fat fingering of of commands, but you're also enabling something new. We don't want it to just be simple for the sake of being simple. We want to be simple that provides some sort of competitive advantage to our customers. And so what are kind of the, the key areas of that competitive advantage from uh, HP's perspective? So with this new virtual cloud networking application, it's actually tied in to HP Helion, our OpenStack distribution, which we announced uh, about a month back at the OpenStack Summit. And it is tied into that higher level orchestration where the user just sees a very simple, clean interface from OpenStack and, okay, let's just click and bring up my virtual machine, tie it to a network, and I'm ready to go. But behind the scenes, we're actually enabling a lot more innovation. So by tying in the, the physical infrastructure and the virtual network together, we can also enable new SDN applications on that as well, such as Network Protector moving to the edge. So we can actually now move SDN all the way down into the vSwitch. And that, that is a recent change? Yeah, it is. Uh, so previously, we've been a lot of our SDN applications have just been tied to the actual physical network and where that physical network ends. But now with this, we can actually move those SDN applications into the virtual network as well. Now, we can't totally escape networking without some hardware in the mix. And, and you guys did announce uh, a couple new switches, I understand. Yeah, definitely. Our uh, 7900 series of switches, the 7904 and the 7910, which is just a four slot and a 10 slot. Um, really high density, modular, 40 gig platform. Uh, but it's a lot smaller form factor. So if you look at a, a rack, one is, one is two rack units and the other is five rack units, which really a compact form factor that's enabling this new spine and leaf topologies within within the data center. So we see within the cloud, this move away from big modular chassis that are, say, you just deploy two of them. If one of them goes down, you lose half of your available bandwidth. And that's just no longer acceptable uh, for administrators because they want to create fault domains and isolate things a lot better so that if one switch goes down, you may only lose one fifth or one fourth or one sixth of the actual overall bandwidth. So you still have a usable cloud for, for their internal consumption. That seems like something that, that network administrators would have wanted for a long time. Why, why is that so long in coming? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's been coming over the past few years. These architectures have been evolving, but as just as anything within networking, it, it's, it, the complexity has really held back customers from moving to this. So that's why we announced our um, HP Trusted Network Transformation Service as well to go along with this, is that we understand that it's a challenge. And we heard from one customer that uh, moving to any, any type of network change is like performing open heart surgery on an Olympic athlete while they're running a marathon. They just don't want to do it. So by providing this new service, we, we work with them from the very beginning. We actually have the same team that works with them from just an initial transformation workshop all the way to opera, operationalizing the change in their, in their data center. So really every step along the way, de-risking that entire journey for them. So the, this service is actually uh, HP folks coming in and, and looking at the way that the existing network topology is laid out and helping people transition from where they are to some future state? Yeah, it's HP and also our partners. So we have a really great uh, partner uh, ecosystem and we leverage them heavily throughout the whole journey as well. So we have a whole 
checklist of every single step along the way of what HP can provide and then also what the great things our partners can provide as well all along the way.